The challenges of forecasting bed demand, prioritizing treatment, coordinating care aren't new to COVID-19. It's just the pandemic has elevated it to unsustainable levels. This is Advent Health in Florida, and they've been using artificial intelligence and advanced analytics to stream real-time data. Now that's enabled staff to improve facility operations and better coordinate patient care. This operation has been running well before COVID-19, but they're now leveraging this technology over the pandemic. To prepare for COVID-19, Advent Health had to rapidly mobilize teams and get access to as much real-time data as possible. Rob Deiniger, who I'm about to have a chat with, led their incident response for COVID-19 in Florida. Just give me a little bit of an insight into Advent Health uh, and its incident response capability. We have a large company. We have 26 hospitals in the state of Florida. We have other hospitals in nine states around the country, and so a very large scale. And so when we start seeing news reports uh, coming out of Italy and, you know, starting to have cases here in the United States, it obviously became a, a very real uh, problem. We don't typically have at incidents that run across our entire company. Typically, we'll have a hurricane in Florida, we'll have a tornado in Kansas, but they're very isolated. This is the first time where we really had that need to, to see across you know, the breadth of our company in real time on a, on a daily basis. What were the real-time data sets that you're familiar with pre-COVID-19 and how have you had to evolve uh, that real-time data feed under the pandemic? We had to pivot to a way where we could see, understanding the disease as it began to develop, the need for ventilators, negative pressure rooms, ICU beds, things that we look at but don't typically look at across the larger company. And so certainly getting visibility into the hospitals we have in the west side of Florida, understanding our multi-state hospitals from a company standpoint, we were able to rapidly uh, work with GE to be able to get uh, visibility into all of our hospitals where we had previously no visibility on some of those key items. When I hear the words mission control, I think of NASA. And in the military, we had something similar called the recognized air picture. Well, here it's not too different. You've got massive amounts of information being synthesized and delivered through what are called tiles. Now, tiles are very similar to an app. The information is then put onto mobile phones, tablets, PCs, and onto these huge screens on this wall you can see behind me. Dr. Sanjay Patani, who I'm about to go and chat to, is the resident expert here on mission control. Now, you've got a, a, a tile system, which is like an app that is at the core of the ability to uh, mobilize certain data feeds given the crisis. A tile is really um, a display of real-time information and data analytics that we use to drive decisions built around different circumstances. We've developed a system capacity, we've developed different applications, but what it really does is allows us to accommodate different types of populations whether it's a hurricane evacuation from a different hospital, we know we can immobilize. Whether it's COVID-19, we're able to mobilize where our ICU patients are, where our COVID-19 patients are, where our ventilators are, where we need them. So going back to artificial intelligence as well, we can clinically try to drive um, ahead of time. We're trying to be proactive, not reactive. And that's really the key to behind, behind tiles as well. Sanjay, it's a massive room. How does it all work? Behind all the information, we have the people that make the, ma make the magic happen. So here we have the emergency transfer center. We have all of our critical care nurses answering the phone calls for patients that need to come to Advent Health. We then uh, connect a physician to physician regarding clinical information. We communicate directly with our bed placement that is coordinated here. This is a system bed placement entity. So right now we can accept a transfer and place it, place it anywhere in our system because of the information we have. We get a bed placed and as soon as we accept the transfer over here, we dispatch our, our ambulances over here. So we have a co-location of multiple entities of people that communicate very effectively, that drive the healthcare in a matter of seconds. This is ambulances and this helicopters? This is ambulances, helicopters, yes sir. The mission control capability covers nine hospitals across three different counties. That's over two million patients a year. The hospital that I'm at right now benefits directly from the command center. And Alina Diaz is a nurse leader. And she's gonna to explain to me how the hospital plugs in to mission control and how that benefits 
her operations directly on the ground. What's it been like under COVID-19? Like, what are the big obstacles that you've, uh, you've had to uh, overcome? Well, finding appropriate space to accommodate all our patients um, and keeping, while keeping all our patients and our staff safe. And how has mission control helped facilitate uh, the efficiency of finding patient beds and also, and also staff safety? Yes, well, Mission Control is excellent at expediting finding beds, but in particular, identifying with which patients are negative so that we can facilitate moving those out of particular units to um, allow space for those patients who are positive and need those beds. How did you do that pre-Mission Control? Well, pre-Mission Control, the supervisor was the one that assigned all the patients. So you would have to, once we saw an inpatient status, you'd have to open the chart, look at the order, decide where the patient needed to go. So it was much more cumbersome. It's impressive to see just how artificial and human intelligence is coming together 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and how the patient benefits directly on the ground. Without doubt, it's a window into what the future could actually look like.